Hey homies, it's Jeff Corcoran here. I posted a video on the group a couple of days ago, which was actually really well received. So thank you so much for the support on that. Um, but one of the questions I got asked the most as a result was how I sort of set up my automated patch changes with the Axe FX. Um, because what it, enabled, what it enabled me to do was record the video and the lead guitar simultaneously, which was really useful. So uh, using my trusty MIDI cable, here, I will show you how that process is done. Okay, so once you've got your MIDI cable, then what you want to do is just basically establish that link um, between your interface and your modeler. So in this case, I'm using a Scarlet 2i4 from Focusrite as my interface, and the AxeFX Ultra is my modeler. I'm not too sure how this whole thing works with the Line 6 Helix or any other sort of modeler, but I'm just going to apply it to the Focusrite and the AxeFX in this case. So what you'll do is with one end of your MIDI cable, you're gonna chuck it into, there's this little jack here, sorry, I'm just trying to find it. There it is. It's MIDI out. So you just wanna put one end of your MIDI cable in there. And then on the back of the Axe Effects or your modeler, you'll have a little jack that's called MIDI in. You can see it there on the right. So you just wanna hook up the MIDI cable to the MIDI in of your Axe Effects or your modeler and the MIDI out of your interface, and that's the first link. Okay, so once you've got all the physical stuff, uh, like your Axe FX and your interface hooked up, then the rest of the work really is just within the door. Um, I'm using Logic as my door, but you can do it in any door. Um, I'll do a demo for Pro Tools as well, just in case some of you guys are running that software. Basically, the concept here is that you're placing MIDI events on a timeline, and I'll explain what that means a little bit more. So the first step in Logic is that you need to create a new track, and you need to create an external MIDI track here, and it'll show your interface here. So mine's a Scarlet. So then, um, because you're plotting those MIDI events along and they represent the patch changes, you need to press E, Go into the edit window and then press this little button here and this shows you all the automation data. So what you're going to want to do now is essentially go down here and make sure that this little drop down menu that you have program change selected because the program change essentially just means patch change. It'll send the signals to the Axe FX um, prompting it to switch patches at a particular point in time. So basically what that means is at a certain point throughout the song, um, you just now have to plot in using uh, our little pencil over here. You just have to plot in uh, what patch you would like at one point, uh, at what point in the song. So for example, at the start of my little song here um, is a heavy rhythm distorted tone. <laughs> Now on the Axe FX, I know that that's patch 12. So what you want to do is just put a little pencil in there, go down here, and you'll see it has a number already assigned. So it's gone to 62 for some reason. So I'm just going to go back to pointer tool and I'm going to drag that down until it's at patch 12. Sorry, I'm a little bit unsteady. Um, but there it is. So you're at patch 12 now. So basically, you just repeat that process. So you pick a point in the song, again, using the pencil tool, uh, where you want to switch to a different patch. So let's just say, okay, so that's a clean section. So uh, I think that's at bar 33 that that starts. Like that. Yeah, so at that point, I want to go to my clean patch on the Axe FX, which I know is patch 13. So just clicking in this area again, you just, oh, so just undo that, switch back to the pointer tool, and then just drag that down until you reach 13. And that's the Axe effects patch that I want. So now as I play through the, oh, <laughs> there we go. So now as I play through the song, I'll showcase my Axe effects just so you can see how the patches are automatically switching at the right time. Okay, so here's what the Axe FX will look like while the patch changes are happening, starting with 12. Okay, watch as we go to 13. Boom. 
So at the point that we plotted out patch 13, it switched automatically. And that's the magic. Okay, so if you're an avid, see what I did there, Pro Tools user, um, then this will be really handy for you. It's actually very, very similar to Logic um, in how you go about doing this. So first process, uh, or first step, is to create a MIDI track, as I've done here. And then what you'll need to do is, on this little box in here, you need to select Program Change, which is basically the same thing as we just did in Logic. So you'll see that this little prog <laughs> comes up, that little icon comes up, and then from there it's very, very similar. So you just plot points using the pencil tool along the line, um, depending as to which uh, patch that you want. So this isn't the same song. So for this, uh, for this section, it's a heavy sort of distorted tone, and then I'm switching into a clean tone though. So it's similar in that way. By 67 over there, I want to switch to the clean. So again, I'm just going to plot out a point. Gives you this little warning here, but just disregard it. Because what it'll give you next is a little list of all the patch numbers. So I know that at that point, at the heavy distorted point, that on the Axe Effects, it's patch 12. For some reason, Pro Tools acts up a little bit for me, and I have to select patch 13. Um, in order for it to work properly, but hey, at least um, I'm aware of that, so I can always get the right patches in. So at this point, um, I have it, it's patch 13, but it's really patch 12 on the Axe FX. Then I'll scroll over to that bias 67 where I want the clean section to come in. Same thing, just pencil in a point, ignore that warning, and I'm going to go to... 14 there because 14 is the um, patch 13 on the Axe FX, which is uh, the clean patch that I want. So now, um, same thing again. So we've got the distorted patch there, we've got the clean patch there, the change, and I'll just uh, show you a view of the Axe FX so you can see um, what it looks like while that change is happening. So here's the distorted patch. So we're on patch 12. There you go. Alright, so there's the magic on Pro Tools. Um, very, very similar process to Logic, um, and MIDI for once, thank God, is actually just as easy. Alright, so there you have it. Um, thank you so much for watching the video, I hope it was useful. If you have any questions still, um, don't hesitate to shoot me a PM. I will be in the group, active in the group a lot more um, as there are plenty of cool, exciting videos planned for my band-driven element. See you soon. Cheers.